welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to announce the winners of the crystal resin giveaway from about two videos ago. So I've written it down. So the winners, the two winners are Andre Bourgeois. I hope I said that right. I'm trying to do my French accent here and Yvonne Rubino. So you two, congratulations. You have won the, oh, you've won the crystal resin kit with pigments. So please email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com and uh, we'll go from there. So again, Andre Bour Bourgeois, and Yvonne Rubino. Congratulations, ladies. All right, so speaking of crystal resin, do not forget, today is, uh, what day is it today? Today's Tuesday, so you're watching this on Wednesday. You have until Thursday at midnight to order resin off the crystal resin website with the extra 10% off. This The resin is already on sale on the website, and now you can save 10% off on top of that and you get free gifts with it. So you have until Thursday. So head on over to crystalresin.com and use um, my discount code of canela10 to save 10% only until Thursday. So um, also I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has been uh, going to my son's channel and helping Lucas out and watching his videos and running his videos on like repeat and stuff like that. When I originally asked you guys for your help, uh, I think it was like a month ago, and I had asked if you guys would just run his playlist in the background while you're cooking, cleaning, working out, whatever. Um, and I tell you, when I first asked for this favor, he had about 600 or so viewing hours. You need 4,000, um, but he's now over 2,000 viewing hours. So I cannot thank you guys enough. Lucas is super excited. I'm very happy for him. He's working hard. And um, so for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I will put his playlist up here at the top. If you wanna click on the playlist and let his videos run, it helps his channel. Um, we're trying to get him to that 4,000 threshold. So thank you so much, everybody. He's halfway there. He's so excited. So thank you so much, everybody who's been doing that. You guys are awesome. Now I wanted to show you the finished, and dried result of my biggest piece to date. That would be not, see, you can see the ring light. Um, you probably won't see it very well here. I got some really bad glares, but it's dry. It's resined, um, and I promise I will um, put it in the sunlight um, like you've been seeing at the end of my videos. I will do a video of this in the sunlight because you really, really can't see the shimmer in this, um, not in this lighting at least, but it's dry, it's beautiful, and it is sold, and I have to make another one. So I do have a commission now to do on this, another piece, so I'm super excited. Let's put it here actually. Super excited about that. So, because this one was such a hit and I love the colors, a lot of people mentioned and asked, do the same thing with a black base. So that is what I'm doing today. I am going to do the exact same thing with a little, little change up, but it's gonna be on a black base, all right? So let's get started and stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm gonna show more things at the end of the video now. Um, that way the intro's not too, too long and then anyone who wants to stick around to the end and see you know, what's going on or studio stuff and stuff like that, you can watch now at the end. So I am going to put you guys on pause. I'm gonna get myself set up and we're gonna get started on another big pour. Be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, before I get to this, if there is a glare, I apologize. That's what happens when you have a black base. I tried to um, work with my camera here and lower the uh, brightness. Um, but I also forgot to mention and say thank you to everybody who joined us for the great switcheroo on the weekend. It was so much fun. We had a great turnout. Um, all the artists did a wonderful job. Um, and I wanted to show you guys the dried result 
of my ring pour and it is varnished or sorry, resined. But look at that. You see that streak of purple? That is the pearl violet by Amsterdam that I got. Now, the reason I'm showing you that is because I plan on using it in tonight's pour. So this dried really well and it's got a beautiful coat of resin and this is available for anyone who is interested. Um, but those pearls, um, I can't wait to get the rest. I only have pearl white and pearl violet. I've got pearl green, blue, red, and yellow on the way um, from the store Delta Art. Um, a lot of people have been asking me. It's deltaart.ca. They do ship to the US. I did confirm with my contact um, who works there and who has been helping me out with my orders. Um, they do ship to the US. However, the sale on their paints did end on Sunday, but they have sales all the time. So if you go to their website and sign up for their newsletter, then you'll be notified every time there's uh, great sales going on. So I am gonna be using those colors in my pour tonight. Let me just pop the bubbles real quick. What we have here is a 16 by 40 inch canvas. I'm using the same size as the white one. It seemed to have been a pretty big hit and everybody loved how big it was. Um, so I'm sticking with it. All right. And um, it seems to be a pretty big hit on TikTok because I posted the video, a quick time lapse video of it on TikTok. And it already has, I think, 260,000 views or something like that. So super excited about that. Um, oh, and another thing I wanted to show you. As if I'm not busy enough and, you know, I just twiddle my thumbs and do nothing all day. Not. Look what I got. A puzzle. I love puzzles. Anybody who knows me knows I love puzzles. Um, and this is a color spe spectrum puzzle. And um, it's a thousand pieces. I was looking for a bigger one. There's one that's 5,000 pieces and I was looking for that one, but it's sold out. You can't get it anywhere. So I cannot wait to start working on that. Um, super excited, super excited about that. I love puzzles. Um, so yeah, I got that off Amazon actually. Um, there was something else I wanted to say. Now I can't remember what it was. It'll come to me. Um, all right, colors I'm using today are almost the same colors as the last pour with the white background. Um, the only difference is I took the gold out because I've added the pearls in. So we are going to be going with Payne's Gray by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Then we have the Pearl White by Amsterdam. Then we have Quinacridone Magenta by Golden, followed by Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Then we have Iridescent Violet Blue by Pebeo. Then we have Pearl Violet by Amsterdam. And then we have Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam and Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. So those are my colors. I see a doggy hair. Guess that's the good thing with black. You can see everything that lands in the painting. All right, I'm gonna try and remember my somewhat pattern went kind of like this, up, down, up, and ended back down here. So I'm gonna go for the same kind of design, I guess you could say. So we go, uh, let's see here, up, up. Uh, kind of didn't do that the same, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be the same. All right, now these pearls, I'm super, super interested to see how they are going to react in this painting with a black base. Um, I can't wait to get the other ones. When I get the other ones, I am going to do um, a Dutch pour with just those and maybe a few other colors, but I want to use all of them in a pour and I want to see what's going to happen. So it'll be very interesting because I know if you could see that violet on that ring pour on a white background, did I literally, I did, I stuck the tip of my bottle in there. Um, if you could see that in the white background, you're definitely gonna see it. I really, 
in a black background. All right, I got, I got paint in that. That was pretty silly. All right, next. I really hope this turns out just as beautiful as the white one. And you can see I'm really loading up the paints because I want to make sure they flow really well when I blow them out. Yeah, that's a lot of paint. A lot of colors too, but that's okay. So let's see. All right. So today is what you guys are watching and it is, why do I not know what day it is? Wednesday. You're watching when it's Wednesday. On Friday, is it? Yeah. Yeah. On Friday, Echo is going to the vet and he's getting fixed. So that should be an interesting two weeks of him healing and having a cone on, poor little guy. So I will be hanging out with him and keeping an eye on him 24 seven. Oh, the black, I forgot to mention. See, I'm so unorganized tonight. The black base is my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black mixed with Floetrol and water. And all my paints are all mixed with Floetrol and water. And you can find the full tutorial on how to mix those paints and the ratios in video number 63. I will link it up here at the top. All right, let's get going. I'm so excited to see how this is going to turn out. Okay, so I'm going to start um, here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. I do a happy dance <laughs> I had such control blowing this out like I didn't question myself once when blowing this out can I tell you how much I love big canvases the bigger the better okay it is so much easier to blow out a Dutch pour on a bigger canvas than like a 12 by 12 or a, I don't know 12 by 16 the bigger the canvas, the easier it is to blow out, okay? So this was, oh my gosh, look how pretty it is. Oh, that just reminded me what I wanted to tell you guys. Merch, merchandise. I am working on it. And I thank you everybody for giving me, you know, telling me what your favorite sayings are. Like, it's so pretty. And um, look at that shimmer matchy matchy that kind of stuff um so i am working on it i'm just working with my printing guy trying to figure things out but i'm looking into um t-shirts possibly um definitely aprons i definitely want to do an apron uh get some aprons and i'm actually looking into a puzzle okay so getting my one of my prints on a puzzle Okay, nothing is set in stone yet. I'm still in talks with what's going on and what's it's all gonna cost, but I would love your feedback in the comments below about what you think about a t-shirt, an apron for painting, 
or a puzzle or all three or which one you like more of the three how about that which would you prefer most out of those three okay that's where that's where we're at and oh my goodness i can't believe this i can't believe this this is a 16 by 40 i was michael's had a big sale the other day and i went and i got 24 by 48 okay another massive piece 24 by 48 that is going to be an upcoming piece but i wanted to do this one i look at the cells i'm so excited you know i'm i'll be super interested to see when this dries the um pearl violet and the pearl white super super interested to see because there's the pearl wherever you see white that's the pearl and uh, I'm not touching any of this. I'm not touching it. I like how it didn't go off the edge here. I like that it didn't go off the edge here. There's a blue freckle in here. And I, there, I wanted to get rid of it because it just didn't belong. Um, I, I can't. I am utterly speechless. I'm looking at it in the camera there. I cannot believe what I'm looking at. I have a feeling this piece is gonna go fast. Okay, I'm going to put you guys on pause. I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close up. Be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Now you're gonna get a glare, obviously, because it's a black background. However, oh my goodness, goodness gracious. Look at this. This is insane. The cells are gorgeous look at that little cluster see the closer i go the camera turns like a funky color so i'm gonna have to back it up a bit so that it catches the true color here but holy smokes i can't believe this look at that cluster there it's so pretty there i go again it's so pretty I'm so happy with this. And of course, if you're interested in this piece, you know what to do. Email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. Uh, the last piece sold about 30 minutes after the video aired. So I was super thrilled about that. Don't forget to scrape your drips. Take your stick. Missed the spot here. Here we go. And scrape away scrape those drips all the way around okay come back 10 minutes later do it again come back 10 minutes after that do it again all right i'm gonna put the ring light on and let's check out some shimmer all right guys let's see if i can get any shimmer in here having a hard time with the ring light and the phone but you can definitely see the shimmer oh there's got to be a better way got to be a better way well when it is dry i'm gonna show it to you guys i forgot to show you the other piece i was so excited i wanted to resin it so quickly and i forgot to show you guys the dry result before i put resin all over it yeah i'm not sure you're seeing much here the lighting is not perfect Maybe if I actually shine the ring light down. Tammy does such a good job doing this. She always has like such, she can always show the shimmer on hers. I don't know what she has that I don't. But anywho, look at that. Wow, it is pretty. I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's go to normal lighting. Be right back. All right, guys, so there it is in all its glory uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below um i'm gonna have to work on some commissions coming up but i still want to do another triptych i'm still working on what colors to do next i'm getting a lot of ideas from all of you guys so thank you so much for that uh everything you need to know is listed in the description below uh, my amazon links um discounts to Loli Veffi, Crystal Resin, uh, Glitter, the Glitter Company, Glitter Babes. 
Um, all that info is listed in the description below. So uh, once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. Hey everyone. All right. So here is a pyramid I made, um, all purples and gold, and it was made with the casting resin, um, from crystal resin. Now they don't have any in stock at the moment because they sold out, um, but they are getting more in and they are going to get them in smaller kits. Um, so just be patient with that. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you, look at the gold leafing. It's super cool in here. And there's no air bubbles at all. I'm really loving casting resin, um, especially because of the no bubbles, no odor at all. You don't have to torch it. You don't have to do anything with it because there's no bubbles. So that's super neat. Wanted to show you some other stuff. Look at my cute little unicorn. So these are some molds um, I bought off Amazon. They're not the greatest molds, but clearly they do their job. So um, cute little, little reindeer. And all the glitter that you see in these guys um, is from Glitter Babes. .ca, so the company I was telling you about, and you can save 15% off um, all the glitters using code Canela15. This is my lion. He's pretty cool. You can actually put him on the wall, which is pretty neat. Just use like some double-sided tape. This one's really cool. I made it with that metallic pigment. Um, that I showed you guys in the dominoes video, but there's my wolf kind of I should do a white one It'll look like Juno or echo <laughs> And then we have um, another little pinkish pe peachy unicorn a bunny uh, I made another bunny, but this guy had some air bubbles in his ears. So trial and error, right? You got to learn how to how to do this. So see he had air bubbles in his ears um, and then here's another little little reindeer. This this bear is cute. <laughs> He's got some glitter on his head, confetti, and then his whole body is glitter, which is really cute. So all these things here are available for purchase. Uh, all my bears, all that, the pyramid is available for purchase. Um, I made this for a client. I gotta wrap it up, but it's got some seashells in it which is pretty cool here at the front if you remember seeing me do i did one of these um and i i goofed i put the seashells on the top that was the first time i had ever used the mold well you gotta love canada post because she bought it and uh it got lost in the mail she never got it it's been over a month um it hasn't even been scanned into the system so it's like just disappeared so that's what happens sometimes. So I made another one for her and I'll be sending that over. Um, here's my hearts, working on my hearts for all the commissioned pieces for the heart plaque. Um, new little bear, glitter bears. I love my glitter bears. Um, but yeah, working on hearts, got that going. There's four, four, so I gotta make four. I'm working my way down the rainbow. And then of course I've got uh, these, I guess you could be, they could be paperweights or anything like that. So these are also available, not that, but these are also available for purchase. And there's my calendar from last year. Um, I will be making a new calendar for 2022. So that won't be available till later on this year, of course. And Loli Vefi bottles. Um, those are all the four sizes that are currently available. This is the newest size available. To, um, and it also has the measurements here on the back. Um, this is the size that I use the most of. Um, that's all these here. And then the occasional little guy um, like that. So uh, those are the new 
sizes, all the sizes for the low leave Effie bottles. Don't forget, you can save 10% off your order on lowleaveffie.com using code Canela10. The heart molds are coming, so just be patient. Um, I'm trying to be patient because I only have one, one heart. And there it is. There's the next, uh, the next yellow one. Two down, two to go. So still working on that. <laughs> I can only do two a day. Two a day. I pour resin first thing in the morning. By the evening, it's dry. I can pull it out and just place it on here. And then I'll do another one. And then by the next morning, it's dry. So I can only do two at a time. So there's a little quick peek of what's going on around here. Oh, one more thing to show you. So you remember all those pigments that the lovely Deborah gave me and I was doing my popsicle sticks. So I finally reorganized all my popsicle sticks on new boards, which is great because now everything is so organized. So these are all the pigments I have. So, you know, black diamond. Then I have, these are all Baltic day pigments. Then we've got Artie Sue, whose pigments I love, but she's no longer in business. Uh, Resin Art, Leslie from Color Art. I've got a few of those. Then of course, we've got Crystal Resin, um, Color Obsession, which also is no longer in business. Um, you Resin, uh, Resin Pigment Canada, that's Deborah, my fellow neighbor. And then Langridge, Langridge um, who's also not in business anymore i can't remember and then those are just miscellaneous random companies and then i did a swatch here of my arteza metallics so that's pretty cool that's my metallic set i like that and then of course i was messing around with my new um uh what's it called amsterdam paints so this is the metallic set that's the metallic set from uh from arteza and uh that's my current stash for my amsterdam paints and then my uh windsor and newton paints and i have another 20 or so colors on the way and then oh what's this what happened to all my deco art paint so you remember all that deco art paint that I got, my mom bought for me and I had a ton of it? Guess what? It took it all back. Why? Because I didn't feel like the paint was that great. Um, of course I kept those two because they were used. But um, yeah, I took it all back. I took it back to Michael's. I called them in advance, asked what their return policy was. I literally took them all back and with the money I got back, I bought all new uh, Amsterdam paints. Um, it's crazy. I sat at that register for 45 minutes. I went first thing in the morning when they opened so I could avoid lineups and causing chaos and trouble. So um, yeah, that's all I got left. The sea glass and the rose gold. The rest all went back and I literally with the money I got back from that, I bought a bunch of new paint from that. So yeah, that's what's going on. I reorganized up here. There's all my Artie Sue, and then my Langridge. There's my Color Obsession, U Resin, my pigments from Resin Art. So yeah, I've been organizing and cleaning up around here. That's it. All right, until the next time, guys. See you then.